right. So uh, just copy some stuff to our top IO here. So or to our dot networks. Just to make sure that we only load our object merge our pop object because we don't want to load our collisions. And like this. Right, so now we'll, like if you don't do that, then you also load the. Uh, if you don't do that, then it's also gonna load the collision object. So if I put star, so and then we would also cache the uh, collision object. You don't really want to do that. So let's do pop object. Right, so something like that. And now let's just copy some geometry to this. So let's copy to points. Put on pack, and let's put a sphere. Let's just make a uh, sort of a rock-like sphere. So let's say blue polygon, I guess. Put it. Uh, say that it should be mountainy. So this looks like a grain, I guess. Let's plug it in. It's going to be way too big. That's not what we want. We want to say that we want to randomize to randomize the p scale one dimension 0.5 no dot five to whatever so that works they all have the same orientation now so you probably want to do another attribute to randomize and then put that to orient put it to one and let's say inside sphere and let's make this for a vector four so now they're for orientation but the only thing you're going to notice now is if we're going to play they're sort of staying here oh and what, what we need to do in the randomized by the way we need to uh do the seed by by the uh, by the id because the point count is going to change because we're removing points from the sim so if we don't do that in the beginning you're mostly noticing it once points get removed from the sim, so the p scale will jitter. So we need to do it by ID. And so, but the only thing here that we still notice is that uh, they're not really rotating, right? They're just static. So that's something we want to want to change. We want to also to have them rotate a little bit like rigid bodies or like grains, but well, not like grains. They don't really rotate, but. Uh, like rigid bodies, bodies, but we're going to sort of fake it. So what we need to do is we need to put this attribute randomized for the uh, the orient, put it before the sim. So we're going to input our orient into our pop sim, and that doesn't really make any difference here. But what we can then do is we can go in here and put a pop spin, I think it's called. Let's put uh, an axis is relative to par particles orientation because we have orient, right? We have orientation. And let's put spin speed quite high. But if we do this, we can just, and we can have a look what it looks like. So you can see them rotating, 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 but they're just going to keep rotating. It's not really what we want. Maybe we want them even to rotate faster, by the way. So I guess we could make this uh, 900. Uh, well, we kind of want to influence the speed of the rotation. So now they're they're spinning. We want to influence it by the speed of the of the points. And remember what we did before. If we can calculate this, the speed with the length. We can calculate the length of the vector. So float len equals length of the velocity. So this this uh, holding variable will be the length of the vector. Then we can say spin speed, spin speed times equals, and you don't have to put add whenever you're working in a pop angle, times length. Maybe we do want to put this a little bit lower. And now, so look. So you can see they're mostly static when they're on the ground. Maybe we do want to increase this again. Just need to play around a little bit with the uh, Yeah, okay, so this works. So if they're flying in the air here, they're rotating, and then once they're stuck, they're 
It's still a little bit rotating. Maybe we do want this to the spin speed to be a little bit lower. So something like that. Let's make the global scale a lot smaller, maybe. Let's just cache out these points. So let's file cache. And pop grains. They're not really grains, but I mean, they're sort of grains in our scenario, right? So let's just cache this out until like, uh, I guess frame 75 or something. This is very fast anyway. So let's save it out, load from disk. Yeah, let's put output. And let's say that we want to do a time shift. Oh, no, we don't want to put an output, by the way, because uh, we have multiple things inside of here. So we don't to do clamp to first, well, clamp to, no, clamp to last, by the way. So let's say 75. All right, so something like that. All right, so this is going to be our sim. And let's output some nulls here. And then we can put these, these into our render nodes that we want to use. So out things. And the under one we already had was out dirt. All right, so let's make some extra nodes here. Geometry. Let's now give this proper names uh, like I generally do with rndr underscore. So these are going to be our render nodes. So let's just call this just rndr dirt. Let's make it green. Let's copy and paste it. And rndr prints. Oh, it's the bug again. Prints. Prints. All right. So let's in here, object merge. And let's object merging in our dirt into this object. And on the other one, grains, object merge, grains into this object. We still need to scale them down. I think by now we need to scale them down 100 times, but let's just make sure that that's actually the case. So let's um, hide our grain set up here. All right, so we have our flower pot, All right? So let's transform. I think it should be let's zero one. What's this? It's uh, a random sphere. Do we use this for something? Uh, let's do it like this. So we have this thing. Okay, that seems to be okay. Let's put an output. And on the dirt as well. Form. So that seems to work. Let's also put a our plant in our render node. Just grab our final thing, object merge. And this one we scaled up. We don't want that one. We don't want this one. All right. So yeah, it seems like it should be okay. Let's look at our cam. So that's uh, where is our dirt? So let's just uh, do a flipbook. See what this looks like. Uh, I think this works quite well. Let's just wait for our flipbook to finish. Play. Boop. Boop. But it seems quite good. So now you can see kind of what I mean. So even though we don't, maybe we want to do a higher resolution flipbook, by the way, but you, uh, you can kind of see what I mean, right? Even though we have like a very, we have two 
low resolution sim so we have a pretty low resolution grain sim uh, and then we have the additional pop sim and together they sort of give the feeling of like more detail even though they're both very fast so it's like kind of like sort of a trick to sort of fake uh, this more resolution this is stuff that i generally like to do as much anyways like if i can get away with something that runs faster i generally tend to do it because I mean, you can spend a lot of, like, it depends. Like if you're gonna do some job where it's like very important that something is like, like very uh, like fully simulated, we have super close detail, then sure, you're gonna do the, fi the fine, uh, fine grain. But in this case, this works absolutely fine in my opinion, but I mean, do whatever you like, do whatever you want. But like, I, I kinda, I generally like these types of hacks uh for example like i work a lot of effort in advertising and like advertising type work is generally you need to do stuff very fast so you don't have a lot of time um so for example just this fake technique is something that i did on a job recently where i had a couple of hours to do uh, a grain sim with like some dirt falling off and this was just the fastest way to do it so that's kind of like and then i also implemented it in my own little uh, growing plant thing so uh yeah these are just time saving things that you can do so don't overthink stuff too much um but yeah i think we have the majority of our stuff so let's i guess make a let's let's put some more render notes or in the r i guess uh we could maybe just call the regular ones in here or, or should we just object merge in let's just object merge it in Maybe makes a little bit more sense. So let's object merge. This object. So we just keep it a little bit uh, organized. Let's uh, go in here. Flower pot. Boop. So what else do we need? Or oh, we need the the dirt patch. I guess we could just grab this dirt patch and just call it R in the R dirt patch. Uh, what is it doing? R and the R dirt patch. I'm not sure what it's trying to update, but whatever. Let's make this green. Um, let's grab our grass clumps. Copy this. R and the R grass. Object merge. So why we're just doing this is we have separate render nodes. So we only have to deal with these render nodes. Don't have to dive into stuff. Oh, we need to make them the proper green. So if we, oh, what am I doing? Rip. So let's hide the sphere thing, which I forgot why I put there. Uh, what's this thing? Leave, we can just hide that. Right, so now let's hide all of our other stuff. Right, so now we have everything set up, basically, uh, with our proper render nodes here. So let's go to shot two. So everything is working. Shot three. So that seems to work quite well. So that's the entire simulation part we have uh so now let's do lighting and shading uh, then we can render it of course so uh yeah let's jump over to the next part <laughs> 